and welcome back to another video from me Firefox and this is for the Pixelmon server for Embrace the Fire. So once you have got the uh, mod pack URL you can then have access to the server so uh, you just put it into your tech at launcher there will be a video for it at some point um, so you can go and watch that video to get the URL and I step you through on how to actually put it onto your tech at launcher for you. Uh, you don't need the IP address because if you, you well the only way to get on here is through the mod pack we've already set it up for you so as long as you download the mod pack you can then the server's already there for you so you click on uh, multiplayer and it'll go straight through to the mod pack for uh, the actual server for you <coughs> so once you've gone into that uh, and you've done all that you've clicked on the server and it's loaded up you will then spawn here in this direction facing the rule board uh, please read all the rules uh, that it, they're not that many and they are pretty simple so you know it's pretty simple anyway so basically um, if it's not yours don't touch it that is our policy on here we do not put up with griefers at the end of the day we do not put up with griefing um, we ban you instantaneously if we have the proof and yes we do have we do have plugins on here to show us if you've removed something from someone uh, from uh, anywhere on the world uh, really uh, we can find out quite simply and it tells us the time that you actually removed it as well so you know we have protected ourselves so we will find griefers quite quickly and you'll be insta banned uh, so please don't grief on this server and then um, please don't spam the hell out of uh, chat saying lag uh, at the end of the day we've been on here now a couple of days uh, beta testing this server and we've had no lag whatsoever so uh, we don't expect to get any I mean there'll be a few now and again for updates and stuff of if the servers you know broadcasting a the message there might be a bit then but I don't think the, the server itself should actually like uh, please do not fly in spawn the only way you can fly on this server is if you donate to the server and buy the command or if you buy one of the uh, donation ranks as well you get uh, fly as well or the other way is basically trying to get a Pokemon that can fly that's the only way you can fly but please don't do it in spawn no swearing in main chat that is pretty simple we have kids on this server um, and as a father as I am uh, I don't like people swearing in front of small children uh, I don't swear in front of my kids and I wouldn't want you to you know hear bad language as well so please please don't swear on in main chat no beg begging for items ranks or money um, as it says uh, if you do and you get your first warning you know it depends on the admin or the moderator uh, at the time you know they could just kick you from the server or even ban you for begging and say that you did break that rule um, and then we have no griefing on the server no uh, stealing items no battling people in their claims unless they give you 100% permission if they give you 100% permission go for it you know you can do it easily uh, at this moment in time we're having a bit of a problem where you can't actually battle inside claims um, I don't know why that is um, I'm going to be looking into that but for now you can only battle into the in the wild or in that arena just down there um, so the other thing is how to get money is pretty simple play the lottery or vote end of and going over to here uh, this is our staff list at the moment these are the staff that we've got yes we do need an, another moderator and helper I think I might have a few two people in mind I'm not too sure just yet uh, we'll we'll see if they want the job um, and that is pr pretty simple the only way to get these ranks is by me and me only so please don't bug my staff for them because they they haven't got it within them to actually do it because I'm the one that gives ranks out these are just a helpful videos for you guys please you know if you these I put these videos up to basically help you um, at the end of the day these are questions that we recently get and constantly get so we constantly get these questions so I just thought I'd do a video for every single one of them and that way I explain on everything so the first one is how to play the lottery plain and simple if you just click the sign right there it will tell you how to use the lottery there is a video right there all you need to do is press T click the red text just like that and press yes it will go straight through to the video how to claim exactly the same just press T and click the red text how to vote uh, basically 
it's simple uh, there is a, v a video right there on how to out of boat uh, video uh, right here and then no do, 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 how to vote how to vote is pretty simple uh, you basically click on this one it takes you through to our website and then I explain it here um, uh, you can vote on all five all five uh, all five will get you $25 for one diamond for one vote so that means if you do all five uh, all five votes you will actually get $125 and five diamonds and the last one is money basically by voting but by playing the lottery and by donating to the website as well so we're going straight through here uh, the two more signs here this is just a website link and this is for the donation sh donation shop so when you get out of there and you've read all the all of those then please you know um, this is basically the wilds uh, one two and three you just click them and it'll take you through to the wild um, the wilds are set up pretty simply they are all claimed as well so you know they're, they're completely protected you guys can basically go from there and go and build you know your home and then start catching the pokemon and stuff so please you know do that make sure that you know at this point if you're an outcast which is the rank you actually start with uh you do not have the home command uh, you cannot do slash home it will not do nothing for you whatsoever uh, i will explain that in a minute when we get down to the ranks area but first of all, I want to show you the shop. Uh, the shop is the server shop. You use in-game money to use all of these items. Uh, I've already told you how to get money. You can either buy it on our website or you can actually vote for it. You can do five votes for the day um, and you'll uh, gradually it'll basically $125 a day or you can donate. And you can buy these items. So you can buy dirt, oak wood, cobble, spruce wood, birch wood, jungle wood, bookshelves, obsidian, netherrack, and soul sand. Glowstone, clay, gravel, mycelium, end stone, pistons, sticky pistons, enchantment tables, normal crafting tables, and chests. You can buy furnaces, you can buy a bed, you can buy sand, uh, a hopper, iron ingots, gold ingots, redstone, nether stars, gas tear, and an emerald. You can also buy some food, uh, steak, potatoes, carrots, p pork seeds, melon seeds, and pumpkin seeds. And then we'll get on to the final one, which is here, which is this is all the Pokemon stuff that we sell in game. Um, so you can buy a PC, health station, anvil, trading station, Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Safari Ball, and the potion as well and then on this side we ha just have a few spawn eggs on this side for you guys um because you might find it difficult with the gen of all the pokemon it kind of takes over passive mobs so uh this is a another way of doing it we have pig spawners sheep spawners cow spawners and chicken spawners they're just there you can get them and use them in your base and then we have iron and diamond hammer there so you use that just by using the in-game money so going on to the PC center, or uh, the um, Pokemon center, you basically, we've set it up, it is quite large, uh, it's for the whole server to use, so please come down and use it, we've, it's just basically PCs and health stations <coughs> on that side, and then upstairs we've got uh, trading stations, we've got quite a few of them up here, and downstairs you can clean your fossils, uh, it's just down here so you can clean your fossils down here just go to the end i just want to show you this as well uh basically if you step inside you'll see that it will it basically um locks you in here this is just so people can't come in, in here when you're in here and actually you know uh shove or grab your pokeball and then run off uh so that is the reason why we've done that so i'm just gonna grab a pokeball uh, that one, and that'll do. So we're just going to grab this Pokeball and stick it in, and then remove it. And there you go. That's how you do that. You just throw the fossil in, and then you clear it out. But if you want to get out of here, if you stand on here and jump up, you can then get out. Um, I suggest you make sure that everything's out of the machines before you get off the pads, because you don't want somebody going in there and actually, you know stealing your stuff off you 
but these are all the exact same. So we're just going to go on now. So this is area um, is the rank up station. So this is the rank up room. It's pretty simple. It's um, it just tells you all the commands and stuff that you've got. So as I said, you do start as outcast on this server. So you basically start as outcast, and this is it. So you get slash spawn slash help slash rules. You get slash list slash tools slash help op and message of the day if you want any more commands then you're gonna have to rank up we've made it completely and utterly simple for you guys so please 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 you know it is completely simple all you need to do is log in vote and you can buy this next rank that is as simple as we can put it so basically you get 125 dollars for five votes you start on the server with $25 that's $150 which is this rank right here um, so it is pretty simple so you do start as outcast now trainer is the next rank up you then get access to home in a bed which is slash home you get slash pay slash kit tools again you also get a uh, slash hell afk slash bal slash mail slash mail send TPA, all the TPAs there, um, and that's for 150 in game cash. So, once yeah. you've done that, this is uh, where you'll be, and you know, you can start as a trainer as long as you've gone and voted. Um, and then, once you get some more money, you can then go, you can go to the next rank. Now, we don't know about this rank at the moment, so it may be changed when you watch this video. We will see in a few days um, about this, but. You go to gym leader. You it's a uh, 1,250 in-game cash, and you get access to uh, slash back on death. You get slash ping slash MSG. You get slash warp warp list and bal on other players. Going on to grand master. Grand master is the next uh, in-game rank on the server. We have slash hat slash ignore, and you also get slash me. You get three homes this time, so you get an added two homes from this one over here. And you've got access to as much XP as you wish. This basically will regen as soon as you've took it out. So if you just basically empty this all um, into my inventory right now, you will see that when I close this and then reopen it, it will then instantaneously then restock. So you can have as much XP as you like, please, you know, help yourself to it. And that is it. So we've got, we are working on the uh, donation ranks as well. We've got um, Elite 4 and we've got uh, Pokemaster and then one more as well, which will be uh, Pokegod. Um, and that's that. So going on to the next bit, which is just this way. Chill we have got uh, this which is uh, a maze uh, now the maze is only going to be open um, now and again it's going to be open um, I think we've said uh, Sundays maybe <coughs> once a week and inside this maze it's two layers it's this layer and underneath as well uh, there is two layers you will find pokeballs that I will place in there in random spots every single week and you can go in there for a select amount of amount of time and basically go around the maze on both levels and collect as many pokeballs as you can and get item rewards off them and um, we did this just to kind of bring the community just a little bit together this will be the rule board uh, and a notice board as well so you know for the maze thing so going straight on uh, we're gonna go into here which is basically uh, the uh, arena so in our arena we have uh, it's pretty simple we have a rule board here just explaining a few more rules and there's three entrances there's that one that one and this one so that one's to the blue fighting zone that's to the red fighting zone and this is to the status area so people can you know stand here I know you can't see anything guys but we just did it anyway so I'm just gonna show you this so we have put some PCs and health centers in here just in case you forgot to heal up your, you know, Pokemon before you go in. But once you are ready, please stand here and go straight through to the fighting arena. Please don't 
all go through there if someone's already in there then just you know let them have their turn and then when they come out of the next door uh, out of the exit door then you guys you know can come in i don't want to see you know millions of people in here um it's just meant to be for the two people who are fighting so just stand up on the platform and you can battle in here then once you have finished then please go to the corners uh the blue team does have the exact same by the way uh, then you can get out and that is kind of it for spawn um and it's gonna want me to fight i am recording go away so going on to here i just want to show you the wilds that we've got so this is wild one right here you spawn next to a woods uh and a few hills and stuff and wild two is in the desert i believe yeah it's in a desert so it's a small desert a jungle biome over there and um, um a wintry biome over here and i think it's a plains that way and the last and final one is in a plains biome again Yeah, it's a plains by right here with a, a center uh, just there. So this is the R Pixelmon server. Uh, we have actually called it Fire Pixel. Um, please, you know, I hope to God you guys absolutely enjoy this server. Um, we put some time and effort into actually getting it fully up. Now, if you want the texture pack that I'm using, I'll put the um, I'll put it on a Dropbox uh, download for you. I will also put different versions of it on the actual website as well so you can download the version that suits your uh, computer's needs and stuff so I'll put 16 and 32 and 64 um, on the actual website as well so as usual um, thank you very 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 much for watching this video and I hope to God that you've got a basic idea of what the server is and what we're doing over here um, and I hope you uh, approve of it and you like it and it's something that you would like to try out so hopefully we'll see you on the server soon. And as usual, thanks very much for watching. Bye, guys.